Okay, welcome. This is Jim ag 6 if kind of part two of my radio repair. Okay, so the SO239 is desoldered from the board. It's probably the hardest part. The board is, the screws have been removed. I flipped it, I brought it out of the chassis. There's some heat sink compound in here, you can see. This is the bottom side of the board. This is the part we're going to change right there. This little guy right here. Got a new one from Yesu. 61 cents. Right there. Gotta swap it out. Interestingly, the um, I, and I'm going to put the DC blocking caps in, but I can do that at a later time. What's interesting to me is there's no narrow filter in here. So I'm not real familiar with the schematic on this. Uh, there's supposed to be a narrow filter right next to it. Uh, obviously, it's blank on the board. There's nothing there. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to flip it over, desolder the five pins, lift this off the board, put this one in, solder it back up and then reverse the process and in we go so uh, this is what the bottom side of an FTM 10 uh, transmitter uh, motherboard looks like uh, probably don't get to see too many of those and um, well anyway we'll go from there I'll do another uh, another shot once we get it back together hopefully it works if it doesn't work well you might not see any of this 73 AG6IF